Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and today I want to bring you guys a video based around Call of Duty Ghosts, all the rumours that we've heard so far, all the sneaky gossip and maybe, maybe some sneaky SFF insider information, so I'll get to that later. But for those of you who don't know, over the last week or so, there's been some rumours or assets that have been leaked. First of all, Tesco's Direct leaked a picture of the box art of the game featuring the logo Call of Duty Ghosts. That got the whole world going crazy, for going, oh my god, there's actually going to be a next title, it's called Ghosts, rah, 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 rah. And a, another company called Target released a picture of the same artwork inside a promotional graphic, but they also featured a date for the release of the 5th of the 11th, 2013. So that's on a Tuesday in November, obviously. So that kind of ties in with the past Call of Duty releases. So that kind of seems legit. Everybody now knows that it's actually going to be called Call of Duty Ghosts. There's been loads of speculation, loads of different rumors flying around. People like Charlie Intel, I'll put their picture up now, got some decent rumors flying around on their website. They've also had this new development today. Or was it yesterday? I think it's today. Where... The Call of Duty website has been updated with the ghosts are real. So there's more and more rumours and speculation and little bits of artwork popping up. It seems like daily now. And there's one article on Charlie Intel that says about the second Tesco's leak. These guys are really bad at holding information, but it helps. It helps the community. Yeah, it says about this product description. And in the product description, they say the game is going to have a new storyline. Um, well, this could mean many things, but the two favourable options for the storyline that I think, this is going to be my theories, guys. I do want to say my theories are actually based around assets, official assets that I've got my hands on. I don't want to go too much into it because I can't. There's the embargo. I also know when that is, and that's going to come up pretty soon. So, yeah, my theories are based around that, but I want to hear your theories as well, guys, so please leave them in the comments. You might agree with me, you might not. Whatever the case is, I really welcome it. I want to see your comment, uh, your theories in the comments. So yeah, I think it's either going to be, well, one. This is the unlikely theory that it's going to be a completely new storyline set after Modern Warfare 3. It's going to be a completely new team, completely new characters, all taking on the mantra of ghosts. But my favourable option and what I think it's going to be it's a prequel to the Modern Warfare series. So it's going to happen before the first Modern Warfare, obviously. Uh, maybe a look into the character Ghost's past. Maybe it's with his old squad. They're on an old mission. Uh, I actually have another tagline, kind of like the one that's on the Call of Duty website now. Like, the ghosts are real. There's one in exactly the same font with a different messaging. And let's just say from this, I think they're going to be either like stranded somewhere or they're against their elements they are definitely not supported by the rest of the army or navy or whatever the hell they're in so it's probably something like they're on this operation they've gone dark or they've come up against some really bad beep and <laughs> they've rebelled and they've gone rogue something like that i love these rumor videos because it could just be anything but it's Probably something very close to that. So once again, yes, all my speculation is based around stuff that I can't release yet until the embargo is lifted. I'm sitting there looking at the assets now. It's so annoying that I can't share it with you guys, but that's the way the cookie grumbles, unfortunately. But please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with all the updates and all the latest developments as soon as I let them go. I've actually got a few videos uploaded already on private, ready to rock and roll for when the embargo is lifted. And once again, please leave your theories in the comments. Let's get something going. I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can. But thank you for watching the video, guys. I have been Echo, and I will speak to you in the next video.